hey everybody it's Charmel. welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video so today i am back with a lock chat i have not done a lock chat in a while but i had to get on camera and talk about this just because there is a wave going on right now and a lot of stuff i'm going to talk about today i've kind of touched on them here and there throughout the last few years but I had to come back y'all and do another video about it just because some time has passed I have new thoughts I have a little more experience in this area now and I definitely felt like there was some things that I just kind of wanted to add to the conversation y'all so we are going to be talking about is the lock trend over okay what y'all think is the lock trend over let's talk about it the sun shines in all of my glory my flaws don't look so bad at all what was i so afraid of so if you have locks, if you engage, and if you watch a lot of a lot content, I'm sure many of you see it as well, but there has definitely been another wave of people just combing out their locks. And this time around, I feel like it's a lot more like popular, well-known lock influencers and lock content creators that are combing out their locks, y'all. And I can't talk because I combed mine out last year as well. If y'all have been around, I combed out my first set of locks last year. I have since relocked my hair but yeah I did comb out my locks last year and with there being this wave of people combing out their locks I've definitely kind of seen an influx of just certain comments of like um I'm happy people are combing out their locks or people only did it because it was a trend they never really wanted locks to begin with or comments like locks aren't for the week and things like that but as someone who's kind of had experience on both ends of the spectrum I do think that there are points being made on both sides so y'all been here for a while I'm sure y'all already know my main stance on this in general when it comes to just hair when it comes to locks I allow people to do what they want to do at the end of the day we all make decisions that best benefit us so whether somebody decides to lock their hair whether they decide to comb their locks out if that is what they want to do y'all are free to do what you want to do because I do what I want to do when it comes to my hair however on the contrary I do feel like within these last few years there was a good portion of people who locked their hair just because they seen other people doing it um again that's kind of how trends work one person gets popular or something gets popular and everybody starts doing it and I do believe that a lot of people lock their hair just because they seen other people doing it also kind of in like the creator space you were doing lock videos the engagement was up the views were up and so yeah I definitely think that some people were just hopping on the trend to ride the wave and to see what they could get a get out of it I know a lot of people built large platforms from locking their hair and things like that and again y'all I am team do what you want to do but I do understand how something that you may be passionate about seeing other people kind of pick it up and put it down I do understand that that can be off-putting however y'all y'all can never make me hate locks being trendy and simply because I personally love the fact that locks are just now another everyday hairstyle for black women outside of like the internet like in real life when I go out I see women all the time with locks I went out last night I seen many of women in there with locks and I love seeing that just like I see black women with braids or weaves or natural hairstyles I'm I'm now seeing women with locks starter locks long locks whatever I see it just as often as I see other hairstyles that black women wear and I personally love that and if it was a trend even if people decided to comb out their locks and never return to locks again as long as they're not like bad mouthing locks yeah I, I love the fact that locks were trendy I love that it's just a regular normal black girl hairstyle now and I can say that because as a 30 year old locking my hair with my first set of locks I still had so many like misconceptions and a lot of generalizations when it came to locks that I had to kind of unlearn during my process and a big part of that was because as I was coming up locks were not just a normal everyday hairstyle like although I seen black women with locks there weren't women that I personally could relate to or who I could see myself in and so yes I love that 
we now have like a generation of young black girls coming up who get to see locks just being like a normal hairstyle. You see them every day out and about. I promise you, y'all know at least, y'all can name five people right now that y'all know with locks because it's so quote unquote popular or trendy right now. There's always gonna be room for critique and there's always gonna be room for improvement, but locks being trendy, I ain't mad at it. Even my niece, since I locked my hair, like for the last few years, she's always telling me like, oh, I can't wait till I start my lock journey one day. Or she's always telling me like, I don't know if I'm gonna get like micro locks or sister locks, or if I want them to be like traditional locks. Like, I love that there is a generation of young black girls who just get to see locks being celebrated as just regular and normal. Especially because I think a lot of us or I know for myself, when we started our log journeys, it felt like this like real like major life decision <laughs> that you had to make when you started your locks. It was like this big thing. And I love that women now, they could just lock their hair and it not be such like this hard traumatic experience and all this trauma that you gotta shed just because you decided to lock your hair. So yeah. When it comes to lock being, locks being trendy or people feeling away about people locking their hair and now combing out their locks, regardless of all of that, I do think that there has just been, again, that normalization that has come out of it. Rather. And y'all know I am really big on extending grace here on my channel. And I think that's another reason why I don't personally feel offended if I see someone combing out their locks. Because I think we have to take into consideration like where the trend kind of started and how it started. And I feel like 2021 is really where we kind of seen like the lock trend kick up. And I think a big part of that was due to the pandemic. And we all know that the pandemic, it was weird. That whole, honestly, those whole few years, it, they don't even feel real. But we all know that that pandemic was an experience for all of us. It allowed people to explore different versions of themselves without feeling like the pressures of everyday life. I started my locks in 2020. I've been here for a while. I've told my story. Y'all know my background and everything. But a quick synopsis. So before I started my locks, I used to wear a lot of faux lock styles. And I had always been intrigued and curious about locking my real hair, my natural hair one day. I always assumed that it would be a little later in my life like in my mind I put like the number 35 on it I said when I turned 35 that's when I was going to lock my hair but then the pandemic happened and after doing some research I just felt like it was the time to do it those of us who have locks who have gone through that journey we know that it is definitely a journey it is a process who I was pre-pandemic I don't think I could see myself going through that experience living my life the way I was living it pre-pandemic. It was a lot of growth that happened during the pandemic, personal growth and all this other stuff, but who I was pre-pandemic, I know I would not have felt comfortable going through that process, that first year of my lock journey, living my life the way that I was. But since it was the pandemic, it was a lot of downtime for all of us. I was able to explore that and once exploring that, you know, I fell in love with locks. I fell in love with the process. I fell in love with the journey. And so I feel like that's something that a lot of people could resonate with. And I think that's one of the main reasons why we really seen like an uptick in everyone just locking their hair because we kind of all had the space to kind of go through it on our own terms, again, without the pressures of everyday life since we was all in the house Anyways, and again with just extending grace, the thing with going through just like the whole locking process, you really don't know what you're gonna get until you get it. And I do think that there's also a demographic of people who did it and once they completed it, they realized like, mm, this is not what I really wanted. This is not looking how I thought it was. It would look. I know that's something that I experienced with my first set of locks when I decided to comb them out. You know, you always hear people telling people with starter locks, like, you know, just commit to the journey. You have to commit to the process, trust the process. And I think a lot of people trusted the process and they realized that they didn't get what they want. And I don't think there's any harm in being curious about something, being interested in something, giving it a try for a few years and deciding that, you know, this is not what I really want. And I'm also the type of person when it comes to life in general, like there are seasons. We go through different seasons. We may have something for a moment. It can bring us a lot of joy in that moment. It could be a learning experience for that moment. Whatever we need for that moment, I definitely think that locks have given people that. And now that they have it, they can 
move on to what's next or they evolve into something else again i experienced a lot of growth with my first set of locks and i feel like some of it was due to my lock journey some of it was just life who i was when i first started my first set of locks was not the same person who i was when i decided to comb them out three years later definitely feel like that first set of locks they were there for a reason it gave me something to nurture during a time where i was really stressed and just going through a lot of things again i learned so much about myself from my first set of locks but in the end i did decide to comb out that set of locks I definitely feel like for some people it is just seasonal they had them for that season and now they're evolving and growing into something new or something different and for some people that means returning to loose hair some people that means combing off their hair and starting fresh for some people that means starting a new set of locks but I do believe that just change is normal a lot of things don't stay the same forever. Nothing stays the same forever, if we're being honest. I feel like the only difference is that we get to see people navigate those changes kind of in real time rather than hearing about it after the fact. And the next reason I believe that a lot of people are combing out their locks, and y'all might not like it, but we have to be honest, y'all. The lock community, it can be a little mean and unwelcoming. I've talked about these things before, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna drag this section out too much but we do have to be honest i do feel like in general as a whole once you find your people those are your people and y'all cool but finding your people doesn't shield you from other people in the community who may not who you may have different views than and yeah i think there is a section of a portion of the community that can just be very mean and unwelcoming and a lot of people don't want to deal with that although it's a community but still even within a community i think people are allowed i personally feel like people are still allowed to be individuals and i do feel like within the community there's not a lot of safe space for people to kind of experiment or be who they want to be while still having locks if that makes sense like there's all of these rules <laughs> and i definitely believe that there are best practices to maintain healthy locks so i'm not saying people should just be doing any and everything to their locks if they want healthy locks but even within that i think again people are still allowed the space to experiment and i think a lot of people started their locks because they wanted to kind of break away from those mainstream beauty standards that a lot of us are bombarded with from young ages i feel like a lot of people locked their hair to kind of break away from that but still ended up in a box when they locked their hair because again there's all of these rules about what you can and can't do and then if you do something that may be a little unconventional people will be down your throat <laughs> about it y'all i coin myself as an unconventional lock girly all the time my first set of locks i did a lot to them even now with my second lock journey i started this lock journey with lock extensions and i get that there's there are people who don't like it which is fine you don't have to like it but a lot of people can just be really rude and mean and nasty about it just not too long ago i had somebody accuse me of co-opting the lock space because i have lock extensions and i'm like even with my lock extensions i have never lied about anything with my locks i don't lead people to believe my locks are anything other than what they are and on top of that i built my audience very organically i started my first set of locks from the ground from starter locks and then eventually i did all of these things but my first set of locks many of you watched me go through that process from ground zero and so it's stuff like that like you could just be minding your business sharing your experience and people just start saying crazy stuff and i've been on the internet for a while i've been doing content for a long time so you get used to those things but it can still just be very off-putting if you are someone who's a little bit more unconventional or you like to do things differently like people will make you feel bad about liking the things that you like and i know a lot of people probably either choose to either not share it or they choose just to not deal with it at all and although i'm a creator like i make content about locks and things like that people are also always watching so even if somebody may not be sharing their lock experience on the internet for other people to engage in they see comments that other people leave and i'm sure it taints the experience for them there are a lot of people within the lock community who like make locks their whole personality and 
you know, if you have locks, they feel like you have to think this way, you have to look this way, you have to do these things with your locks. And anything that falls outside of that is kind of treated as an other or you're not a real lock person. Like, you're not a real lock girl if you don't do these things. And again, it makes people feel boxed in and it kind of taints their experience. We share similarities but everybody's lock journey is going to be very personalized their hair is going to do things that other people's hair may not do it may look a little different you may feel a little different about it like the experience is just a really personalized experience and i just personally hate when people try to project their experience onto you and make you feel bad if you don't experience it in the way that they feel like you should and then lastly when it comes to people combing out their locks i think Think a big issue is just versatility and as someone who loves doing lock styles I love pushing the limits I love pushing the boundaries of what locks are supposed to look like and what people say people can and cannot do with locks I personally love showing you guys how versatile locks can be but at the end of the day y'all locks are still locks they're not loose hair and so there are still going to be limits on what you can do with your locks and I think it's okay to be honest about that some people lock their hair and they just truly never desire to go back to loose hair or deal with loose hairstyles or anything like that I definitely believe that there are people like that but I also think missing a certain style or missing certain aspects of loose hair like it doesn't necessarily make you hate your locks like Feelings are real, we are human, we have feelings, and it is okay if you miss certain hairstyles. And I do think a lot of people just miss certain hairstyles. I know that was probably one of the main reasons why I combed out my first set of locks. I wanted some box braids so bad and I wanted them small. I wanted some small, long box braids. And I definitely got some when I combed out my first set of locks. But yeah, as much as I love my locks, there are still styles that you cannot do with locks there's a lot you can do with locks but locks are still locks they'll never be loose hair definitely think if you decide to lock your hair you have to accept that there are styles that you won't be able to do anymore but i also think that missing certain hairstyles is also valid those are real feelings and i do think a lot of people just kind of got bored like again i love my locks i love styling them y'all know I, when it comes to styling locks, that's my thing. When I combed out my first set of locks, like I couldn't wait to just do all these styles that I had been wanting to do. And when I finally did it, it didn't bring me as much as I thought it was gonna bring me, but it was definitely an itch that I needed to scratch. And since then, I have relocks, but even with this new set of locks, I still miss certain loose hairstyles. Not enough to make me want to comb out my locks again, but I don't think that those feelings like ever truly go away. And again, they're not like, I'm not sitting around crying because I can't do small box braids no more. But every now and then you'd be like, hmm, some a little box braid set would be cute right now. You know, a little... I don't know because I do so much with my locks. I'm trying to think of a style that I can't do but you know every now and then you do be like oh I would like this style I see a style online I'd be like oh that's cute I would love to try this style but obviously I can't and again I just think those are valid feelings and if you are missing your loose hair if you're missing loose hairstyles eventually you gonna come out so you can get those hairstyles and I think that's what a lot of people are doing and just to kind of close this video out I think that there's a lot that we can learn during this wave of people combing out their locks. And I think the biggest lesson for me is to stop looking for validation in other people. It's great to be and to feel seen, but some people be acting like the world ended because their favorite lock really done combed out their locks. And I hate that for y'all. Um, again, we can draw inspiration from others. I love watching lock content. I love to see like what new and fresh styles that people are doing with their locks but often we can get so attached to other people's hair other people's locks and we don't even have that same adoration for our own hair in locks and i think again it's okay to draw inspiration but you also can't lose sight of who you are and i think more people need to start playing in their own head instead of watching and waiting for to see what other people do with their hair even when i combed out my locks as much as i love y'all 
it, it breaks my heart a little bit when I see people say stuff like, oh, now I don't know what to do with my hair because you combed out your locks. And it's like, I love that y'all value my creativity the way that you do it. But I also want y'all to experiment with your hair. As much as I love creating like different lock styles and just sharing my experience with you guys, if you don't take anything away from my videos, my main message is just for people to get comfortable with being them. I feel like a big reason why I can do my hair the way that I do or that I love my locks the way that I do is because although I was uncertain it didn't stop me from exploring my main thing is to encourage you guys to not be afraid of your own hair so many black girls from young ages we've been taught in a sense to kind of be afraid of our hair and afraid of the things that it can do and we think it's just so fragile and again it can be fragile you can do things to damage it but the only way you really learn to take care of something is by actually taking care of it and going through those trials and errors and so yeah y'all I feel like yeah a lot of people are combing out their locks right now but don't feel pressured to comb out yours just because you've seen somebody else do it or because your favorite lock girl combed out hers yeah just be encouraged to explore you for you to explore your hair for you and stop attaching the way you feel about your hair based on how you feel about somebody else's hair stop valuing other people's locks more than you value the locks on your own head but yeah y'all that's all i got for this video what y'all think do y'all think most of them people gonna relock their hair because y'all said that i would relock my hair and i definitely relocked mine um i know i get a lot of comments on my videos since relocking my hair a lot of people say i'm about to relock mine too because loose hair wasn't it again i think it's just a way life comes in cycles cycles happen they drop off they pick back up and i think that's just kind of what we're witnessing right now i've seen people in my real life <laughs> comb out their locks i've seen just people who i see on the internet comb out their locks and yeah i think it's about 50 50. i think there are some people who will never lock their hair again but i also think that there's going to be a big chunk of those people who do return to locks because i was one of them and like i touched on at the beginning of this video with locks being just like a regular a uh, hairstyle for black women i think we'll see them come and go because that's just what hairstyles do but that's it y'all thank you all so much for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe follow me on all of my social media platforms charmelle lynette and i will see you beautiful people in my next video bye